Hello all, this lecture series is dedicated to binomial heap. Binomial heap is another data structure. Let's see what we will be talking in this lecture series about. So we will be talking about binomial tree because binomial tree are the basis of binomial heap. So we will be talking about the definition of binomial tree first. Then we will talk about the properties of binomial heap and then we will discuss what is a binomial heap. Obviously, then we'll discuss properties of binomial heap and then we'll talk about the operations on binomial heap. Lastly, we will be talking about the applications of binomial heap and in the meantime, we will also discuss the complexities, time complexities in different operations of the binomial heap. So first, let's talk about binomial tree as this is the basis of binomial heap. A binomial tree is represented as B of K, where K is the order of the binomial tree. Then B0 is a tree with one node. As we can see, this is 0. So B0 is a tree with one node. And any uh, tree BK, let's say this K can be uh, 1, 2, 3 for any positive integer. So BK can be represented as a pair of bk minus 1 trees so any bk tree will be the pair that means there will be two trees of bk minus 1 where the root of one bk minus 1 tree becomes the leftmost child of the other bk minus 1 tree we will see this with an example so two bk minus 1s are combined to get one bk tree the bk minus 1 having minimum value at the root this is the property uh, that is uh, similar to the min heap property that is the minimum value has to be at the root the bk minus 1 having minimum value at the root will be the root of bk as well so from the two bk minus 1s whichever is the minimum will become the root of the tree bk the other bk minus 1 will become the child node Let's see with an example how we can uh, have the uh, binomial tree. So this is B0, binomial tree B0. You can see the order is 0 and we have single node. Now this is B1, that is K is 1 here in this case. And we have two nodes here, minus 1 and 10. Now let's see the property of the binomial tree that any BK tree is the combination of two BK minus 1. So we can see here B1. So this is BK. What will be BK minus 1? That will be B0. That will be B0. So we can see this B1 is the combination of two B0s. If we consider minus 1 as one B0 and 10 as another B0, then this is the combination of two B0s. And we can see uh, in one B0, this is minus 1 and in other B0, this is 10 the smaller number becomes the root of the new tree at bk and the next one is the left child of this b1 similarly now let's say this is b2 that is bk and in this bk we can see that it is the combination of two b1s so you can say this is one b1 and this is another b1 and we can see in this one b1 5 is the root element in this uh, another b1 2 is the root element smaller element is 2 becomes the root of the b2 and the next b1 is the left child of the root so this is how we can create b2 let's say we can have b3 as well the b3 will be the combination of two b2s so this will be one b2 and there could be another b2 and then we'll combine these two that we'll have b3 and obviously from these two b2s we will choose the minimum element and that will become the root of the b3 so this is how we can construct the uh, b3 uh, we can construct the binomial tree now let's talk about the structural properties of the binomial tree there are 2k nodes as we have already seen in this uh, let's talk about b1 so k is 1 so we have 2k nodes that is 2 so this is uh, 2 now this is B2 and we have uh, four nodes here. So we have two uh, K nodes. Now the next property is the height of the binomial tree is always K. So if you can see this is B0, what will be the height of this tree? Height is a uh, zero. 
Now this is a B1. What will be the height of this tree? That will be 1. This is B2. What will be the height of this tree? There are exactly KCI. This is the combination KCI nodes at depth I0, 1 and so on. Next property, the root has degree K, which is greater than that of any other node. Obviously, the root node will have the highest degree. So this is of uh, uh, degree 1. This is with degree 2 and you can say all the other elements in the tree are in lesser degree. So this is a degree 1, this is degree 1 and this is degree 0. So here it is degree 1 and it is degree 0. It is degree 0. So we can see the root node has degree k and which is greater than any of the other node. Now we can see due to the property number 3, it gets the name binomial tree. So what's the property tree? There are exactly KCI nodes that is related with the binomial. So this is KCI nodes at depth i is 0, 1 and so on. We can calculate this. Now let's see an example and how we can uh, construct a binary tree. We have the elements 5, minus 1, 3, 5, 7, 8 and 9. So we will pick first 5 and this will be a B0. Then we'll take the next element minus 1 and this will become another B0. Now we have two B0s and on combining these two B0s, we will have one B1. And by combining, we need to remember that the smaller element will become the root and the next uh, tree or subtree will become the left child of this B1. So two B0s are merged to get one B1. Now the next element is 3. So we have one B1 and now we have one B0. Then uh, we need to insert next element that is 5. So now this is 5. Now we have one B1, we have another B0 and now we have one more B0. So we need to merge these two B0s first and get one B1. So we will merge these two B0s and 3 will be the root because it's a smaller so now we have uh, this B1 and this new B1, 3 and 5. And now we can join these two B1 to construct one new B2. And remember, the smaller element will become the root and the next tree will be the left child of this tree. So minus 1 became the root and this uh, B1 will become the left child of this tree. So we can see that this is... Uh, uh, next uh, new B2. Now we'll join more elements into this. We'll insert 7. This will be a B0. Then we'll join 8. This will another B0. Now these two B0s can be combined and we have a new B1. Now next element is 9 and we will join this as B0. Now these elements cannot be joined together because these are of different uh, heights. This is B0, this is B1 and this is B2. So this is how we construct the binomial tree. Now let's define binomial heap. Binomial heap is a collection of binomial trees that satisfy the following properties. Now what are these properties? No two binomial trees in the collection have the same size. That means we can not have two B zeros. We must have two different sized trees. Next, each node in the collection has a key. Every node must have a key, must have a value. Each binomial tree in the collection satisfy the heap order property. Here the heap order property is the min heap property. That means the smaller element will reside on root and then the uh, elements will move down. Once, once we'll move down on the tree, then we'll have the larger numbers. Next is roots of the binomial trees are connected and are in increasing order. So this is the fourth property where the roots of all the binomial trees are connected and they are in increasing order. So this is uh, in the increasing order. This is the fourth property of the binomial tree. Let's see an example. This is a binomial heap of uh, node 15. This uh, containing a B0, one, this is one B0, this is one B1, and this is one B2, and this is B3. Now we can see all the properties are here in this uh, binomial heap. 
we have different height different type binomial trees and all the roots are connected with each other and they are in increasing order although we cannot see key values here so we'll take another example for the key values now you can see this is a b0 this is b1 and this is b3 b this is b3 root of b3 is connected with root of b1 and the root of b1 is connected with root of b0 it's also following the mean heap property it's five smallest it's 17 smallest then or smaller than 27 it's 12 smaller than 18 16 and 15 and all these three let's say 18 is smaller than 23 30 and 25 16 is smaller than 20 so we can see the smaller elements are the root elements and as we move down we have larger elements so 12 is a smaller 16 and then 22 12 and then 15 12 and 18 then 23 and 30 and then we have 25 so this is the uh, example of the binomial heap let's discuss one more definition of binomial heap a binomial heap is a set of binomial trees that satisfy the following binomial heap properties one each binomial tree in H obeys the min heap property. As we have discussed, on the top, there should be the minimum element. And as we move downwards, the elements are greater. The key of a node is greater than or equal to the key of its parent. We say that each such tree is min heap ordered. Second property, for any non-negative integer k, there is at most one binomial tree in H whose root has degree k. That means uh, if we join the trees, we should have different trees. If this is B0, we cannot have another B0. If this is B1, we cannot have another B1. And we can see the Minhe properties is uh, satisfied into this particular example. So this is the example of binomial heap. Now let's see what are the operations that are performed on binomial heap. So we can perform creation of binomial heap finding minimum key, then we perform union, merge, then we perform insertion in binomial heap, then we perform removal of the root of a tree, and then we can perform decrease key operation, and we can perform deletion operation in the binomial heap. So, we will see these operations in the upcoming lessons. That's it for the today's lecture. Thank you so much.